All right, so I got the uh, the micro balloons and the epoxy out here in my respirator. Got to wear that. Um, I got the uh, the glass around the hatch fared down pretty good uh, with the 36 grit wheel. There's there's not really any high spots that I can't float over with the fairing compound I'm about to mix up. Um, you can see down here along the center live well here. I'm going to do all that. And uh, if I mix up enough, I'll do back here by this bilge hatch. I love this bilge hatch. It's so huge. You can work on it easy. Uh, it's great. It beats crawling around trying to be um, something you're not like a contortionist. Uh, eventually, the whole cap is going to get a Rhino U-Pole Shoreline Beige. So I went ahead and I hit this little spot here with uh, that 36 grit uh, wheel and uh, I think that stuff's going to adhere to that real nice you know it's not overly aggressive with its grit through the gel coat because the gel coat's tough uh, but it's going to give that that uh, bed line or something uh, real coarse to grab onto so it should never flake off um, I, I don't know how much it's going to take yet but uh, I just plan on buying the big the big kit of it I think it's like six quart size uh, units <clears throat> with the tent that way you mix up that way I have enough I heard that uh, if you have to buy a secondary kit sometimes the colors don't match up you know beige to beige or black to black or white to white whatever it may be uh, that that pie hole patch or a plate cover there I'm gonna glass that over I don't need it anymore I got a forward locker here in the um, <clears throat> in this bulkhead that I cut out uh, for whatever just odds and ends pretty much trolling motor batteries uh for the future trolling motor uh Minn Kota i pilot probably <clears throat> uh you know and it's got other things i gotta take care of you can see the, the freeboard there where the speakers were cut out the, the half moon shape there that on the port and the starboard side <clears throat> my uh chase for my lines <clears throat> that go down into the tank sender and uh, whatever else I may need, bow light, speaker wire, uh, hides up underneath the gunnel there and runs up underneath the console. Uh, right now, the, the rigging on it's a nightmare. I got to go back through and, and wire it up nicely this time. Uh, it's functional. It works. I removed the, um, the marine amp from the speakers because it was giving me fit, so I tossed it. And While I was under there, I just changed some things around to make it a little, little more reliable. <clears throat> uh, marine connection uh fittings you know the waterproof type you heat up <clears throat> tin wire uh that sort of thing uh the fuel filter back there with the clear sight glass so you can drain it off that was a good investment i like that i'm gonna get rid of that corrugated uh bilge line here this is the corrugated one is for the uh <clears throat> the uh automatic bilge pump with the flow switch and the clear vinyl tubing uh, is just the manual bilge pump as a backup. I got my uh, thousand gallon <clears throat> live well uh, pump in there with a secondary output, maybe for a wash down. I'm probably not going to use a wash down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to 90 that down into the bilge um, and just leave it open. <clears throat> that way I can. I can uh, close that seacock down there on the bottom of the boat, and if I do take on a superior amount of water and I, I'm not doing the backstroke, I can I can shut that seacock off, open that secondary valve, and let that suck water out of the bilge, blow it up into the live well, which will drain out the back with a, a one-inch drain, uh, like it would if you were using the live well to keep your bait or fish alive or whatever it may be. So, um, yeah, I don't know yet. I haven't got there. Um, the scuppers in these in these hatches that I made are not big enough. I'm going to upsize those to one inch also because I get sand and shells and rocks and sticks and leaves and all types of stuff jammed in there. I got to back flush it with the garden hose every now and then. It's just a pain in the butt. I don't want to deal with it. So, uh, yep, that's what I got going on. Let me mix up some fairing compound and then uh, I'll probably time lapse that because it's it's kind of boring. So, all right.